This is the ventilator setup for the Mindray SV800 ventilator with a humidified circuit using the Fisher & Paykel 950. You can see here that we've got the circuit attached. One, the first thing that you need to do when you're setting up this ventilator is put in the valves. We leave an inspiratory valve in ours all the time. So the valve on the right hand side is your inspiratory valve. That might be a piece of kit that isn't in your current ventilators but is in the mind rack. We just leave that in there constantly and it gets changed on annual service and gets it clean. This is your exhalation valve. You want the diaphragm to be covering this bit here. We send this to for sterilising in between every patient and the most important part of the checks that we've found is calibrating your flow sensor to your ventilator before you do your system check. Then with the tubing, um, another really important point is that the expiratory limb and the inspiratory limb on the mind ray might be around the opposite way from ventilators that you're used to. The exhalation limb, there's a little picture of a person breathing out here, so you want your white limb attached to the exhalation on this side. Then on the other side, your inspiratory, your blue limb, Here in Wellington ICU, there's a viral filter that comes in every wet circuit packet. We add an additional viral filter of the same spec so that we've got both sides of the circuitry have a filter attached to them. We do that routinely with all of our patients. So the first things first, once we've got the tubing all set up or clipped into the humidifier, the end of it needs to be occluded and you can either do that by using the attached cap that comes in the packet or you can pop it on the edge of the ventilator here, there's a blunt port specially designed for occluding the end of the tubing, so you can just attach that there. The very first thing that you want to do is, from the main screen, calibrate that flow sensor like we talked about. So you're going into Menu, Flow Calibration, and hitting Start there. That's your first check to marry up the flow sensor with the ventilator, and it takes about four minutes and is quite noisy. Once you've done that and your flow sensor is happy, the next step to do is your tightness and your general system check. That option comes up here on the main screen, system check, and this test only takes about two minutes and is, as I say, checking the tightness. Once this calibration system check is finished, your ventilator is ready to use, provided it's, it passes. If you need to change the tubing in between patients, there's another option on the main screen. Here, for circuit test, if you just need to change the circuitry in between patients, but you're not changing your exhalation valve flow sensor combo, if you're just changing this, the, the circuit, you can do this shorter circuit test here, which only takes about 30 seconds.